Hello Aries, welcome to Window to the Soul. This is your Celtic Cross for July 2020. Um, Aries, some big stuff going on for you right now. Um, today is the 29th of June. Uh, of course, it doesn't really matter when you're picking up this reading, but today Aries is in Mars where it will stay until January 2021. So we have a good six months of your planet being in your sign. You're going to feel Aries like you've hit the ground running. This is a huge burst of energy for you. You may be finding your voice, finding your drive, finding your motivation. You'll be feeling strong and independent and fierce. Um, during the meditation, very much tapped into all of that, felt like something very big is coming in for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We are the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so we're busy. We're busy. What are we busy doing? Um, I very much got the color pink in the meditation. I felt powerful. I felt inspired. I wrote down things like big shifts, speechless, wow, making it happen, manifesting. It's your time. Really, really positive, powerful meditation for you. Two of Pentacles is Venus in Capricorn. This is your main energy for July. Um, juggling your resources, being very busy, managing your time, your priorities, your responsibilities, exerting a great deal of self-control, which is good because one of the negative things about Aries being in your, uh, Mars rather, your planet being in your sign is that we, we need to be careful of impulsive behavior or bursts of anger. What are we doing? Let's get these cards all ready to go. And clarify this two of pentacles for Aries, please. Wow, the Empress, beautiful. We are working very hard on taking care of others, finding pleasure and fulfillment, fertility and abundance. We are working very hard on being emotionally stable. We are... Being very careful, being very mindful of, very practical and deliberate towards what it is we love, who it is we love, nurturing connections in our life or, or anything in your life that already exists that you love and value, we are really play, paying close attention to and making sure that it's done right, that it's taken good care of. Let's see what's crossing you. The Seven of Pentacles. So there may be um, a little bit of... Um, no, this this is good. It's similar. So what, what we're doing here is we are really assessing the um, time, effort, investment that we have put into something that brings us a great deal of joy. clarifier so we're assessing all of the relationships in our life right now we're assessing not just one particular connection this is the three of cups sorry the light has just i don't know what on earth has gone on with the, the sun has just vanished and i've been plunged into darkness um typical cloudy english day the Three of Cups is Mercury in Cancer. It speaks of connections and collaborations. Now, we're, we are assessing these. We're assessing where, we, where, where it is we're putting our time and effort, specifically who, whom we are putting our time and effort and energy and resources into throughout July. It's like a major reassessment, like... Who has been putting into a connection with you? And where would you like to die? It could be that you have so much energy that we're investing in many different people in many different ways. Friends, family, a lover, work colleagues. 
this is kind of like we've got a lot of fingers in a lot of pies here but we're waiting for some kind of results some kind there's very much an energy of harvest here okay so that's kind of establishing a bit of a theme here we're definitely dealing with lots of people people that we value people that we care about situations we're working very hard we're putting the time in we're putting the work in so what's going on what let's see how we can expand on this for you um what lies at the root of this situation in july the ace of cups beautiful oh okay this is like an, a renewed sense of self-respect here aries and this renewed sense of self-respect has triggered you to look at all of the people in your life many different people as i said friends family work colleagues and romantic connections everybody absolutely everybody and now you're seeing all of these people and all of these connections through a lens of deep deep self-respect and that is it, this is kind of separating the wheat from the chaff who here respects you and who here has perhaps not been so good for you let's clarify yes absolutely the star beautiful this is healing and guidance and wishes and dreams becoming a reality this is daring to dream this is having hope and faith and trust in yourself in this new sense of self-respect self-love that we you're really feeling yourself right now aries you are absolutely loving yourself you are taking care of yourself you are this is all about the self but that is as i said it's causing you to reflect on all of the um relationships in your life and assessing how they may or may not serve you and i don't mean that in a selfish way like you know what can i get out of other people it's not like that it's saying you know this is what i have to give and if people if if there are people in my life that can match that and can meet me on an equal playing field then i'm here for that but there are and there will be people in your life that cannot match that vibration and this is not leaving but questioning how much you of your time effort and resources you would like to invest in those people you're questioning it perhaps not necessarily doing much about it yet but absolutely taking some time to question where it is moving forward you're going to be placing your time energy effort and resources whom you'll be placing those things into that's good that's great i love that you know if somebody's breadcrumbing you or somebody doesn't really have the time or the energy for you from a healthy selfish selfishness vantage it's very wise to question whether you should continue putting in to connections that are not on an equal footing it's great it's good energy um very much sitting in your strong independent fierce energy that i would expect for this is you in your energy aries aries is the first sign of the zodiac it deals with the first house which is the house of the self um and you're sitting very much into protecting yourself and your self-interest me first not in a selfish way i mean selfishness is in the eye of the beholder some people on the outside may view this as aries is being selfish is that a bad thing if you're taking care of number one 
once you've done that then you can take care of everything else that's going on in your in your world can you not this is self-love self-respect gorgeous let's see what um recent past ah hmm here's why yeah this makes a lot of sense doesn't it the ten of swords mercury in gemini betrayal humiliation La uh, brutal painful life lessons but lessons that nonetheless have been learned because this is a 10 before we get into this let's let's clarify this gorgeous yes beautiful yeah lessons learned because we've gone from the end to the beginning we've gone from the 10 to the ace wow aries i am i am loving this i am absolutely loving this the ten of swords yeah of course it's it's an incredibly painful card but this is for a start it's in the past so that's where you've put it now okay any pain um or or damage or wounds that have been caused by somebody you know self-doubt or or some kind of betrayal or humiliation you have put firmly in the past and the dawning of the new day that we see here in the tent here it is the ace of pentacles which is the opportunity for a brand new reality this is manifestation energy this is something tangible this is something real this could be new money new career something it's something grounded in in reality it's like you're you're done you're done feeling crap because of somebody else's action you are taking your life in your own hands and you're moving forward to make your world right for you um if somebody's done the ten of swords to you in the past i would very much suggest or assume rather that what's going on here is that particular person or group of people you're absolutely assessing well that's the effort they you know that's what they brought me then why i'm moving on this is this is just beautiful blessed release this is you know with the, the three of cups and the empress speak of abundance and celebration and this is happy this is happy 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 energy somebody hurt you in the past okay that's in the past now well I'm, i've moved on i've moved on i've let go um i'm stepping into my life now two aces the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles with the star and the empress this is gorgeous aries stepping into your absolute power what are you focused on then what's on your mind oh i've taken two we'll have them the queen of wands and the two of wands are you kidding me the two of wands is mars and aries <laughs> incredible and this is the coin of fire your queen wow now it's like your focus is not on this past person or this past pain sorry the cards are so dark i don't know what's i've got the believe it or not i've got my light on <laughs> you'll just have to take my word for it if you can't see these very well but look how this two of swords has has the whole world in his hand and then the, you know the queen of wands she has this she's confident she's independent she's determined she has a magnetic personality she's a social butterfly with a great deal of belief in herself and she is completely free from the expectations of others and what she's focusing on is kind of like world domination you know what's next for me where am i going next what does my future hold i have so many options and so much potential and so many possibilities where am i going to go what am i going to claim for myself now what's what's next for me it's exciting it's inspired but it's also aggressive and strong very much no this is for me this is my time i am done giving to anybody that did not 
invest in me i will not be investing in that in the future very much making very firm decisions about the future that you will be investing in moving forward and that means we are separating the wheat from the chaff there will be people here that you are leaving behind and as you move forward central here deciding who's coming along for the ride who needs to be left behind either way aries is moving forward aries is sitting in that fiery passionate self-interested energy decisive focused but also imaginative and curious this energy of dropping toxic or negative connections not even that just just people that were perhaps riding your coattails people that were not serving you people that were only interested in themselves and their own self-interests yeah it's a little bit selfish but in a good way in a really healthy way Aries taking care of number one and I like that for you so much especially when we see a past card like the ten of swords sitting where it should be sitting in the past let's have a look at the uh what lies ahead then in the near future eight of cups and we're walking away we're walking we're turning our back we are leaving something alone we are cutting our losses we are making decisions about what is no longer wanted what is no longer necessary what is no longer emotionally fulfilling and we're off we're off look we've got the our bags are packed the bags packed we've got a cat with us we've got a broom we don't need these anymore yes Aries may have taken some time and effort filling all of these cups but you know when to cut your losses clarifier please wow <laughs> Aries this is amazing the world closing out completion lesson learned not looking back in anger we're going we're moving on moving on up time to what's that moving on up time to, i can't remember that i think it's called moving on up um go and look at the lyrics because that's that's coming across really strongly that song right now um nothing can stop it's time to set free nothing can stop stop us something like that this is this is this is a successful completion unlike the death card which is a painful sudden abrupt shocking ending the world card is a success we're done and it's we're moving we're moving on there may be some travel here for you but you are absolutely identifying what it is that needs to be left behind anybody that was riding coattails any stragglers we're kind of shaking all that shaking all that off taking with us what it is we need and leaving behind what is no longer serving be you to full what's your suggested approach Aries the hanged man take some time take a moment Neptune Pisces this is Saturn by the way um, and I believe this is also Saturn Saturn in Pisces is the eight of cups Saturn which is Capricorn energy for the world card here the hanged man is Neptune and Pisces energy water energy mutable yes mutable water um, your suggested approach is stop to see something differently you're not restricted or trapped this hanged man in particular and again it's it's very dark here so apologies for the lighting um all my wonderful patreons have been supporting me i will invest some of the money that they have um supported me and people have donated to this channel as well i will invest in some better lighting the issue with lighting when you're reading tarot is the glare if i shone a light directly on these the glare from these cards is it's shiny they're shiny so I'll figure it out I'll look into how I can do that but this this hanged man he's chained and he actually holds the key in his hand he, he quite literally holds the key to his own escape here so we're not trapped 
we are in a position of necessary discomfort he's not suffering look he's actually quite serene and peaceful and uh considering whom he needs to pull away from it, we've got a lot of fiery kind of yeah let's go get it kind of energy and the suggested approach is maybe slow down of but I, I see that in the central energy here with the seven we are taking some time to assess that so you're kind of already doing it take the time to assess what stays and what's coming with you clarify for the hanged man yeah absolutely it's yeah maybe there is a part of you that needs to slow down somewhat here aries um the four of swords jupiter in libra it's recovery rest um it's a timeout to contemplate it's not sulking we're not pulling away because neither of these cards are sulking both of these very strongly thematically speak of taking some time to find to consider the relationships in your life that's exactly what you're doing that's exactly what i spoke about here it could be that we're getting a little bit overzealous with the scythe of the cutting out the separating the wheat from the chaff so the the suggestion here is is just just make sure that you've thought it through before you you go off skipping into the sunset here um there may be person or people here that you might want to think a little bit more carefully about um this is like you know when you decide to tidy up your home um but you've decided no this is going to be a, a really this is going to be a big one this is going to be a big spring clean uh anything that does not bring me value or isn't beautiful or i don't love is is going in the bin that's it if this is a no mercy and, and you just throw everything away and it feels wonderful it feels beautiful it feels cathartic um you know your your house looks wonderful now but then maybe a month or two down the line you realize that you actually threw away an appliance that you could possibly do with now just be careful that we don't throw out the baby with the bath water here okay that's that's it's a little bit of a warning here to perhaps if we're getting a little bit overzealous with whom we are cutting out here because it is people three of cups um just maybe just slow just a touch just slow down just a touch and really make sure you have considered all of the relationships in your life here let's see what you need to know two of cups venus and cancer true love who do you love why is this here why is this here are you turning your back on someone that there is love for here hmm now the what you need to know position usually speaks to me about the energy of somebody else because generally not always but generally what you need to know um indicates to me as a reader it's something you don't know therefore it's something somebody else does know or somebody else's intentions this looks to me as though there is a romantic interest or certainly somebody here you have deep love for you know of course you can love your family members of course you can love your friends generally the two of cups does speak more of a romantic connection but not necessarily always the case this is of course a general reading and you of course know by now areas to take this how it resonates for you but this suggests to me that there is somebody here that is looking for a way to build a bridge back to you and slash or is waiting for you to come back to them with a sense of certainty um i would say to this person good luck with that 
honestly. Um, but for some reason, Tarot believes that's something you should know. Somebody's here waiting for you to come back to them, or somebody is trying to, or, or certainly does intend to come back to you. Why you need to know that? Because I'm just seeing you're, you're, you're good, you're... Perhaps you need to know that because there is one particular person here that it's going to be a little bit harder to cut out than the others. Yeah, that yeah, that was that was strong. Yeah, I felt that I felt that big time. Okay, so Aries, we're we're cutting out, we're cutting out. Don't need knit you, don't need you, not interested in you, you don't serve me. Um Oh, there's you. Yeah, that 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 guy, that girl. Okay. So that's that's gonna be a bit harder to cut this one out. I know I I think I've got to do it. But yeah, the, the, yeah, there's somebody here that this is, it's like we've got uh, loads of people here that this is going to be quite easy for you to do, isn't it, Aries? And then there, there's this one person, isn't there? And it's like, mm. okay. So it could be, you know, if you're insistent on cutting this particular person out here, then it could be that this is a bit of a warning, a bit of a heads up. You might have to be a little bit stronger for this particular person if you do persist or insist that you will be cutting them out. Could be that you might let somebody back in. Somebody wants to get back in here one way or another. Um, I just see you moving on, you know, especially if this is the same person that did this, then... Your call, Aries, of course, something Tarot would like you to know there, hopes and fears. Five of Swords, okay, so you're kind of worried that some people will have a problem with this. Um, arguments, cutting words, winning an argument, competition, defeat. It's the defeat card, it's the Five of Swords, Venus in Aquarius. Why is the Five of Swords here, please? Oh, goodness me. Knight of, yeah, somebody's... This is the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Um, this isn't necessarily what is definitely going to happen, but this is a fear or a worry, a concern. Um, looks like somebody is potentially going to be coming back in um, to argue with you, essentially. Um, coming in without really thinking things through, um, diving in kind of very defiant, impatient, and waving their sword around, which would represent uh, their words, um, and those words being abrasive, cutting, sharp, and people getting cut by said words, it's arguments. But the, the Five of Swords also very much speaks of I'm not playing your game anymore. I, you know, if that's the way you want to be, then go and do that on your own time. I cannot see in this spread here, Aries, you having any time for that. It's just so low vibrational and you are just soaring here. I cannot see you giving this the time of day. This, if somebody comes at you like this, this will just be the confirmation that you need that yeah this 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 is certainly one of the many energies that i will not be taking with me moving forward peace out peace out <laughs> why do i want to name this entire reading peace out aries is peacing out right now <laughs> let's get an outcome for july gorgeous the ace of pentacles it's here and it's here but oh, wow aries i am smiling from ear to ear why is the ace of pentacles wow <laughs> yeah once you've tied all of these loose ends up there's no stopping you this is a brand new you are moving into you the self 
This is a new power, a new way of seeing things. This is an understanding. This is a breakthrough. This is something brand new for you. This is following a new path, starting again. It's the opportunity for something real and you know the, 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 we're manifesting um intellect and new words and new ways of communicating and new ways of earning money and just creating your own brand new reality we are focused on the new and the possibilities and the opportunities that lie ahead we're excited about them we're positive moving forward it's gorgeous moving forward towards the end of july you will have closed up any of these loose ends and we're not just it, it, we're not necessarily walking up to a person and saying hey i don't want to hang out with you anymore your 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 energy is very toxic for me and no this is just energetically removing yourself and being incredibly discerning about what is good for you and what is not so good for you um i'm going to go through the signs here to close out this reading for you aries this was spectacular um beautiful beautiful reading my venus and mars signs are both aries so aries in mars and my mars sign being in it it's, it's a big time for me as well this next six months and I, i'm feeling it i am absolutely feeling it i am feeling this powerful shift coming in it's gorgeous let me know if you're feeling it aries um, if it's not quite here, it's coming. Trust me, it's coming. Let's have a look at all of the signs and how they may be responding to you. You may have one particular person in mind. There may be a few here. Think about their moon sign, rising sign and Venus and all of that stuff as well. Okay, let's start with cancer. If you're dealing with a cancer, cancer is the king of swords. Cancer is kind of, okay, well, if you don't want me, then I don't want you yeah it's like well i didn't even want to be your friend anyway yeah it's, it's a little bit mm, kind of there is an energy here of kind of understanding where you're coming from and why and why this has to be that way as well it, it, it's 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 more mature than the well if i don't it, it's it's kind of cutting it's a bit bitter that's the word leo if you're dealing with a leo Leo is the Knight of Pentacles. Leo wants to come towards you. Um, but they may be doing it slowly and tentatively. Leo is kind of seeing you with a lot of respect. They're respecting you right now. Um, Gemini, if you're dealing with Gemini. Gemini is the Hermit. Gemini might be pulling away. Gemini might be working on their own kind of soul searching stuff that kind of thing it could be that your actions have prompted them to do a lot of self-reflection if you're dealing with a pisces pisces is the queen of swords pisces is kind of doing something very similar to you very similar to cancer as well pisces is cool cool calm cold even um indifferent that's the word that's coming across for pisces indifferent and it's a very un pisces like energy capricorn capricorn is the two of swords capricorn is not really seeing your side of things right now they're not really seeing where you're coming from they don't fully understand why you're making these decisions aquarius aquarius is the strength card okay so aquarius believes they can kind of persuade you around to their way of thinking um they're quite confident in that as well um taurus 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 is the eight of swords taurus is not in a great place taurus this kind of low vibe stuff that i was talking about here um they're kind of sabotaging themselves however um they don't they feel like you're not telling them everything um, I think what Taurus is failing to understand here is you don't have to. If you're dealing with another Aries, Aries, Four of Pentacles, um, being very decisive, being in good. So this could be you because it's very difficult, of course, to I'm, I'm tapping into the energy of Aries and you are Aries. So 
yeah, um, looking for happiness and stability, um, but being incredibly decisive about what it is moving for. It's kind of the whole spread epitomized there. Virgo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo is the Knight of Cups. Virgo would like to connect with you emotionally. Virgo wants to come in and offer you their cup of love. Virgo is wants, wants to advance towards you. Um, Libra. Libra is the Seven of Swords. Ooh, Libra is either deceiving themselves, like they're kidding themselves, oh, Aries, I'll be back, or they believe you're kidding yourself. Same conclusion, Aries will be back. Um, Scorpio. Scorpio, wow, Scorpio, goodness me, this is a Scorpio card as well, the Five of Cups. Scorpio is uh, self-pity, disappointment, regret, unfulfilled expectations, resentment, low self-esteem, wanting to apologize. Scorpio's distraught that this is happening this way. Sagittarius, last one. Sagittarius is the justice card. Sagittarius, on some level, understands why you are making the decision that you are because they can see that this is what is fair. This is what is right. Um, Sagittarius believes they are getting what they deserve. If they are being punished in some way by losing you, they they kind of feel that they deserve it. Just deserts. Um, they might not like it, but they kind of understand why. Um, what a powerful reading, Aries. There are no extendeds on Patreon this time around. What I am doing instead is offering to anybody on Patreon uh, a personalized three card pull at no extra cost. Um, all of the information that you need about that is over on Patreon. Um, yeah, so if you haven't signed, if you are on Patreon and you haven't signed up for, for one of those videos, a personal video for yourself just yet, please do read all of the information in the threads that I am putting out. Let me know, Aries, because this is gorgeous. I'm so happy for you. I really am. Stepping into your power um, and peacing out. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> take care and i'll see you next time please subscribe by the way i always forget to ask people to subscribe bye <laughs>